He told her he would capture it not with weapons and armies, but by creating a new religion and transforming the Roman Empire into the Holy Roman Empire. Selene agreed to join her brother's spiritual revolution. She changed her name from Selene to Magdalene by adding the word Magda to her name, which means high place in Hebrew. Jesus Caesarian also searched for and found his two half-brothers, one of whom was Selene's twin. His nickname was Thomas Didymus, which means twin in Greek and Hebrew. Seventeen years after her suicide, Cleopatra's four children were all reunited again. Why are the pages of the Bible silent about where Jesus was and what he did for 17 years from the age of 13 to 30? Perhaps the most unusual legend of the missing years recounts a journey that would have taken Jesus thousands of miles from Nazareth. He would have traveled across two seas to England, a land whose history would become intertwined with Christian mythology. To this day in southern England, in Cornwall, villagers speak of Jesus having once walked here. Beneath these rolling meadows, the earth is laced with tin. 2,000 years ago, the story goes, the gospel character Joseph of Arimathea came to England to trade for the precious metal. And according to the legend, he brought with him his nephew, Jesus of Nazareth. At that time, ancient England was inhabited by the pagan Celts. Their religious leaders, the Druids, believed they were descended from a divine being. They also believed in an immortal soul. Some people in these valleys speculate that the Druids adapted their pagan religion to Christianity, not because they had heard stories of the Messiah, but because they had seen him. However, most scholars believe that it was the conquering Romans who arrived two centuries later who would convert the Druids to Christianity by persuasion and genocide. Since they were first found in a desert cave in 1947, the Dead Sea Scrolls have fueled speculation about the life of Jesus. Was he a member of the religious community which wrote the scrolls? They were found at Qumran, an easy walk from the very spot where it is said Jesus was baptized by John. The scrolls detail the beliefs of a Jewish sect called the Essenes, a group that flourished during the lifetime of Jesus. The beliefs of the Essenes often seem to mirror the teachings of Jesus. Zealots. band of revolutionaries included not only the Essenes but a violent Hebrew terrorist group called the Zealots who evolved into today's Zionists. We're going to a wedding. <laughs> that Jesus married his half-sister Mary Magdalene. The Bible describes a wedding party in which Jesus uses his godly powers to magically turn water into wine for the party guests. Why did the Bible fail to name the names of the bride and groom at the wedding party? Is it because the names of the bride and groom were Jesus and Mary Magdalene? Since Jesus Caesarian learned the art of healing and meditation in India, and since he was provided with a foot support to stand on on the cross, and since he was taken down from the cross after only six hours, 
And since he was treated with expensive royal healing oils, did he survive the wounds of his crucifixion? Since Jesus and his wealthy Hebrew relatives all knew about Jesus' arrest and crucifixion in advance, was it planned, along with stories of his resurrection, to convert the Roman Empire into the Holy Roman Empire? My Lord and my God! Like his father Julius Caesar, who was officially elevated to the status of God, Jesus Caesarian was not only elevated to the status of God, he recaptured his father's kingdom and expanded the Holy Hebrew Empire all the way to Great Britain and the United States of America. What then, little king? <laughs> A review of royal genealogy charts confirms that today, Israel, Great Britain, and the United States are all ruled by descendants of the Hebrew tribes of Israel. The big question is, if Caesarian was born in 47 BC, how could Caesarian possibly be Jesus? Jesus was born in the year zero, wasn't he? To begin with, the year zero does not exist on today's Gregorian Christian calendar, which jumps from 1 BC to 1 AD. Experts confirm a seven-year error was made in converting from the Egyptian to the Roman to the Christian calendar. The only way to calculate Jesus' real age is from a Bible quote which states that Jesus was baptized in the 15th year of the reign of Emperor Tiberius. Since Tiberius grew up in Octavia's royal household with Caesarian's half-sister and brothers, that means Caesarian was very close in age to Tiberius, who was born in 3 BC. By comparing important dates in the Jewish, Muslim, and Christian holy books, there is a margin of error of at least 30 years. So what proof is there that Caesarian's half-sister, Selene, is in fact Mary Magdalene? They were both wealthy, they both shared the same names, they were both Hebrew, and they both lived in the same place at the same time under the same Roman rulers. The most convincing proof lies in a famous New York statue. The Statue of Liberty was financed, built, and delivered to New York Harbor as a gift from the French Grand Orient Temple Masons in 1886 with a commemorative plaque for all to see. The statue has nothing whatsoever to do with liberty. Its designer was French Freemason Frederick Auguste Bartholdi, who traveled extensively throughout Egypt. Bartholdi was silent about who the woman was that served as his inspiration for the statue. But there is only one woman whose face closely matches the uniquely masculine features of the Statue of Liberty, Caesarian's half-sister, Selene. Bartholdi used the ancient bus and minted coins of Cleopatra Selene as his models in designing the Statue of Liberty. By comparing a digitized photograph of the Statue of Liberty with a bust of Cleopatra Selene, the matching identity of Mary Magdalene and Selene becomes clear. The lips, the mouth, the sharp jaw, the thick neck, the protruding ears, the prominent nose, and the masculine features are a close match. An ancient minted coin of Cleopatra Selene reveals that even her hairstyle and hair tie ribbons are an identical match with the Statue of Liberty's hairstyle and ribbons. The Statue of Liberty was intentionally designed to appear pregnant beneath the folds of her robe. The implication is that Mary Magdalene had children. Their names were Tamar and Jesus the Justice whom the Merovingians, British royalty, and elite brotherhood of Freemasons claim to be descendants of.
With the blur of confusing Judases, Thomases, Jameses, Marys, and Josephs found in the Bible, many researchers have been challenged by the Bible's name game and its who's who mysteries. One way of decoding the Bible is to profile the main cast of characters and create a royal genealogy chart. The connection between the lives of the main Bible characters and the lives of real, historical figures line up like answers in a crossword puzzle. Far from being poor and uneducated, Jesus' inner circle of family and disciples were well-educated and well-off descendants of royalty. The disciple called Nicodemus of Bethany was in reality 